Hi, it's Yoey from Crankwheel with a walkthrough video on how to enable and configure instant demos for customers on one of our paid plans. To enable instant demos, you need to be an owner or an administrator on your plan. Simply visit meeting.is slash ss in your browser to go to our self-service panel, then log in. Once you've logged in, click Instant Demos. The first step is to click the Enable Now button right here. Next, let's make sure that you have at least one user on your account that is set up to receive instant demo requests. To do this, click Access Control. Then for whichever user or users you'd like to enable, simply edit them and click to add them to your demo pool and save. I'll enable two out of three users on this account, including my own account, which is admin at example.com. Now that I've enabled instant demos for myself, if I just open my Crankwheel control panel, there will be a new section down here, Demo on Demand. To test if everything is working, you can open a new browser window and type in a URL that goes like meeting.is slash ss slash show you s h o w u slash and then the short name of your company. In this case, the short name is walkthrough, as you can see down here at the bottom of my crankwheel control panel. So let me finish typing that in meeting.is slash ss slash show you slash walkthrough and then press enter and I'll see a ready-made page that shows the instant demos lead capture for this company. Let's just try entering a dummy phone number and see that the demo request shows up in your crankwheel control panel. Let's view the request here. Okay, so this is working, uh, and enough about that. This is just a way where you can uh, play with instant demos before you actually set it up on your website and make sure that you are receiving the demo requests. Back to the configuration. To use instant demos in the basic configuration, all you need to do is copy the JavaScript snippet from the instant demos tab and place it onto your website right before the closing body element. Uh, after that, you apply a CSS class, crankwheel.com show you launch button, to any button or buttons on your website that you want to trigger the Instant Demos Lead Capture Lightbox. You can get your web developer to help you with this. It's also possible to use Google Tag Manager to place the JavaScript snippet on your site. Once you publish the new version of your website, you should be able to click one of the buttons that you attached to Instant Demos and initiate the Instant Demo process from there, similar to what you saw earlier. Now, if you want to customize the messaging or the lead capture questions that are used in Instant Demos for your company, this is what you do. You click the Instant Demos tab, and then you click Configure Instant Demos. On the left hand here, we have a What You See is What You Get or WYSIWYG editor. This box looks just like the light box that your prospect would see on your website and that we saw earlier when we tested Instant Demos. But what you can do here in the WYSIWYG editor is you can hover over any message to edit it. All of the different ones are editable, although for some you need to use a slightly different approach than what I'm showing you here. Now for example, let me change the text on this orange button. So I just click edit, and then click outside the edit field to dismiss, and now that's saved in your pending configuration. Nothing is published to your website, unless you click Publish Changes up here. There are three sets of messages which are used depending on whether more than half, fewer than half, 
or none of your agents are available the moment a prospect requests a demo. Crankwheel determines this based on whether agents are active at their computer and whether they're already handling an instant demo or a screen share. To switch between the message sets that you're editing, you just use these buttons on the right-hand side. And you'll see that there are slightly different messages. For example, with more than half, the service promise by default is instant live demo. When none of your agents are available, the default service promise is request a live demo. But you can change all of this messaging. To see all the different messages in the set you're editing, what you do is you submit information just as if you were a prospect. Let's, for example, submit a dummy phone number here. But this does not actually cause a demo request to occur. Instead, on the right-hand side here, you have a simulation of what your agent would see if they were to view the demo request on their uh, crankwheel control panel. Uh, this, this part of the user interface also gives you buttons, such as this one, Handle Request, where you can switch between different states in the flow, as the behavior of instant demos will change a bit, depending on what the agent has done. Now, you could pretend here that the agent has clicked to say that they'll handle this request. And what you'll see is, once you do that, the messaging changes a bit. So, to edit all the different messages, you need to pass through both paths, the one where your agent doesn't immediately click on uh, handle, handle uh, this one, and the one where they do. The same goes for when your agent confirms that they've called, the messaging changes again. So you need to go through the lead capture steps before and after uh, clicking that button. As a final hint, there's a flow that your prospect gets into when they cancel the demo request by clicking this little X after they provided their phone number. And there are a couple of editable messages there. Let's enter that flow and I'll show you. So you see you can, ha you can edit each one of these. To exit this flow, simply click cancel request. You may have noticed that there are some messages you can't edit in the WYSIWYG editor for example, this one here, and this text within the edit box. That's because these are a part of the lead capture configuration that you can change. Let's scroll down here to view and edit that. The lead capture questions occur in order, with phone number always being the first one. You can remove any questions that you don't want to include and add whichever questions you like. We recommend that you always leave the email address question and make it one of the first questions so that automatic lead enrichment based on your prospect's email address can occur. Let's delete everything except email address and then just ask the prospect about the size of their company. Remove step. Now I'll add a question about the size of, of their company. The label here is what shows up above the edit box. The placeholder is the gray text that shows up within the edit box. And the ID is whatever you would like this piece of information to show up as in your Crankwheel control panel when your prospect enters it. Let's take a look at how that actually works now. Let's enter the phone number. And we're asked for an email address. And let's actually see that happen. And then it says, how large is your company? There are a few final additional options that you can set. First, we can add a calendar link. This will cause a button to show up beside this one, beside the OK Got It button, that says, uh, let me book a meeting instead. So this, you can use this with something like Calendly. If you want to book a demo with me, 
that's my URL. So let's save that. You see this adds a button here, and you can edit the text on that button just like any other button. You can add a post message. The post message lets you add a step after the normal final uh, step of lead capture that can have a headline and a message. And optionally, it can also include a video. So you can paste in here um, an embeddable video link, for example, uh, an embeddable YouTube video link. And that way, after uh, if, if none of your agents are available to do the demo right away, then after the final step where, where you say, we'll call you right away, you can show them uh, a video if you like. And the one here on top is the simplest. If you uh, don't want to ask your prospect about their telephone country code, then you click here, and now you'll see the first step of lead capture will just have enter your phone number. If you do want to ask for their telephone country code, click again, and now the country code is here. Um, as a brief note, the country code edit box gets pre-filled with the country code of the country from which your prospect's internet connection seems to originate. So normally they don't need to edit it, uh, but in certain territories it's more appropriate to leave out the country code. Now if you're ready to publish your changes so that your prospects will see them on your website, you click Publish Changes up here. If you'd like to discard all of your changes, both to messaging and to the lead capture steps, then you can click Discard Changes and you go back to the default set of messages and the default lead capture questions. That's it for our walkthrough of how to configure instant demos and how to customize messaging and lead capture. Thank you.